back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and this is the third video of process dashboard and in the first two part of this video we have learned how to create this container and these boxes the small bar graphs over the box and we have connected these data points with this data one sheet from this annual data and the spark, uh, spark line column and we have taken from here okay now in this video we will learn how to create this pie chart and this line and column chart dynamically okay so as uh, i have told you in first part i have created this chart dynamically uh, we want to take line chart or we want to show the column chart and this is connected with these data points. This is also dynamic. So we will learn this how to create in this part. So first of all, we will create this section, this uh, drop down box and these option buttons. So I'll go to the dashboard one and I will insert a shape which is rounded rectangle. I'll take this one and I will drag it here. Now I'll change the uh, this yellow point pick the yellow point and drag to the right so the corner will be removed and we will show a rounded shape here okay now we will change the background color we'll take the same color which i have taken here so right click on this go to the format shape and i will go to the gradient fill and we can take the this third one okay friends now we have taken the same color and we also need to remove the uh, shape outline so you can remove from here also or go to the format shape and select no line from line okay now we will give this uh, drop down box and these option buttons First of all, I will insert a text box and just drag it here. And here, I will give the name as select metric. I'll go to the format and I'll go to the shape fill and I will select no fill. Same from shape outline, I'll select no outline. Go to the home and change the font color as white make it bold change the size and just keep here now i will go to the developer tab friends if developer tab is not enabled in your excel so you can watch one of my video wherein i have told how to enable a developer tab so i you can get the link of that video in videos uh, this video's description box so i will in i'll go to the developer tab and i will go to the insert and i'll go to the form controls and i will select a combo box from here form control combo box click now just drag that combo box here okay now I'll go to the data so I'll create the list for this combo box so this is the list for this combo box we can use this list now right click go to the format control and I'll go to the input range and then I will go to the uh, data one I will give the range this range now I'll go to the cell link again I could I will go to the data one I can give the cell links here let's say on K1 okay now just see if drop down is available if I will select calls then the value of K1 is 1 that means the first value has been selected if I will select the venue which is the third value then here you will see 3 now on L1 we will get what value has been selected so we'll use the index function and the array we will give this one then the row number i'll give this one that means revenue has been selected if i will change let's say ast so i'll see ast here now 
we will insert these option buttons so again i will go to the developer tab and i will insert this option button from form control this one click on this and just click here now just copy this option button and paste again just keep it here and just keep it here so now i will remove the text of this option button similarly for this and we can change the size also we can keep here now right click on first option button and go to the format control and here we will give the cell link so i'll select go to the cell link and i'll go to the data one and i can select m1 okay now click on option button first first option button here you will see one on m1 click on second option button then you will see two that means which option button has been selected let's say if i will select first option button then here will be one and second then you will see two here okay now we will put this image or this chart image so as i told you in first part of this video i haven't used any kind of outside image to create this dashboard so the first image we can take this one from symbols so i'll click here go to the insert and go to the symbols and here in fonts i'll select wave dings which is already selected and i'll scroll it down so now we just have to search that this is this is the line chart icon so click here close now copy this go to the home copy click anywhere in the chart like and clicking here now again go to the home go to the paste special and paste special picture not the link picture picture only okay and change the size of it like that now we can crop this as per our requirement so uh, go to the format crop and we can crop it from all these sides and go to the format crop so the size of this picture has been changed now we can keep it here that means it is indicating now this if we will click this then the line chart should be created here if i will click here then the column chart created here so we'll give the column icon also to create a column icon i'll go to the insert and i will insert a shape which is this one arrow and just click here uh sorry let me delete this i'm going again to save and i'm selecting this arrow and press shift key then just drag it here and we'll get this straight arrow now go to the format and i will rotate this as 90 degree i'll go to the format and will change the color from here from shape style now copy this and paste here and now go to the format and rotate on rotate left now we can keep it here now go to the format uh, uh, sorry go to the insert and we will insert a simple rectangle this one and we can keep this rectangle here like that go to the format remove the shape outline no outline and fill as any color let's say i'm taking this one now make the copy of this and paste here another copy of this and paste here 
size this change the size for each bar let's say i'll take 4 here like that and change the color also take any other color here any other color let's say that okay so our icon for bar chart is ready now select all these shapes together arrow this arrow right click and make the group and change the size of group like that and just keep it here now it's indicating this is for the bar chart and this is for the line chart so friends uh, now we have to create this chart dynamically connected with this drop down and with this graphs so in the next part of this video we will learn that uh, friends so please watch the next part of this video thank you so much for the watching